There are two primary ways to find the ionic charge for calcium, Ca. First, we could look at the trend for ionic charge on the periodic table. Second, we could look at the electron configuration for calcium. So let's look at the periodic table here, and we can see the trend for ionic charge. Group 1, as we go down, all of these have a 1 plus ionic charge. In group 2, they're all 2 plus. Calcium right here is in group 2, so it has a 2 plus ionic charge. That means when it bonds to other elements like chlorine or fluorine, it'll lose two valence electrons. We can also look at the electron configuration, and that'll help us figure out why it's 2 plus. So here's the electron configuration for not calcium 2 plus, but just calcium as it's found on the periodic table, Ca. And you'll note, first energy level has two, that's full with two electrons. Second energy level, that has two plus six, so the second energy level has eight, that's full. Third has eight, but the fourth energy level only has two. So what calcium will do when it bonds to other elements, it will actually transfer or lose these two valence electrons. So when it does that, they're gone. So electrons are negative, and when you lose two negative charges, you become plus two, which is the ionic charge on calcium. And having lost these, underneath this energy level here, the third energy level, it's full. It has eight valence electrons. And that's a lot like the noble gas argon. So you can use the periodic table and look at the trends to find the ionic charge for calcium, or you can look at the electron configuration. Either way, the ionic charge for calcium, Ca, is 2 plus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.